So if the Joker player properly SDIs out of Veo's combos, definitely take advantage of uh, those multi-hits, you know, just charging up a bunch of Arsene. So that'll be interesting to see. Um, from Bayo's point of view, I would say looking out for Arsene is a big deal. You do not want to get hit. You definitely do not. Um, Bath of Inning can actually be risky here, because then Joker can kind of just catch up and get his hits. That back air, you know, it, it was a bad back air, but to just see that up smash come out of killer, it's it's really unsafe, really unfortunate. Yeah, good way of charging up our sun. If you're desperate for kills, then you might as well just go for it. Nice movement, nice movement. Yeah, you know, honestly, there's nothing much you can do there. The multi-hits are really useful here. Um, I would say probably just countering. I think counter might actually be a really good way of Bale. Mm, that S-Smash mid-stage was kind of weird, but it worked out. It's good for the Even the drag down up there. Nice back. Nice uh which time? Which time? I gotta say from both players, I really like the weight on air dodges. Like instead of committing to like hard true combo, they're trying to commit to reads, and these reads ultimately lead to more damage output. Really good on both of them. Yeah, the bullets are really good here just because you can get rid of Arsene so fast. And we have a non Arsene Joker versus Bale. This might be dangerous for him. Desperate. Alright, safely goes back to stage. Looks at the DI. Goes for the four throw. Oh, his back air ends up beating Bale's back air. That was weird. Brilliant victory. Brilliant victory indeed. That was weird. Um, I guess Bale's back air whiffed. It's probably what happened. Because if they traded, I would have expected Bale to get the kill. Let's see here, here. Yeah, it just whiffed. Weird. Oh no, Joker's back here just came out faster. Well, that makes it even worse. <laughs> it's really tragic. Oh, that was a parry. Okay. Oh, Smash makes sense if that's the case. Running it back to PS2, you know, honestly, it's a good stage for both of them. It makes sense. Oh. oh okay. Wow. That was that was fantastic. I like the little weight in between hits to get like maximum space. He didn't just want to hard commit to forward air. He waited slowly and slowly and got that forward air. I'm a realist doing a brilliant job with that zero death. Alright, not Quite getting the link there on the platform, but because 
Kogi fans threw out that uh, down B there. Kind of left room for a punish. And now, having all this damage. Yeah, and once again, the multi hits of the up B just getting rid of that arson quick. Putting Joker in a disadvantageous position. Yeah, see, he doesn't. The, the thing about like late percent is that that kind of gives you the opportunity to kind of get out of Bayo's like typical upbeat Koga firms, but she has up tilt into back air to compensate, and that one is a brilliant kill, killing mid stage. Yeah, right there, Poke fans just has to figure out a way to get damage somehow. Yeah, I don't, I don't like these down bees. It's just. They're easy to read, and you're leaving yourself open for a punish. It's, it's not a good idea. Ooh, that was a brilliant string of hits. That little jump he did in between specials was really good. It allowed him to get that downer, which put him in a disadvantageous position off stage. A B, and I think that's it. Dominating game from Aurelius. That was just a neutral read to neutral read to just kills. <laughs> that was that was painful, but that was also satisfying. Great job. I think after that zero to death, Aurelius kind of just got Pokey Vance tilted. Yeah, let's see this again. Up B, up bear, jump fair, and nice. I would expect PS2, but at the same time, I wouldn't blame Bulky fans for picking any other stage. Okay, town. A lot of bad choice. Um, that said, though, it's it, it, it's weird. Like this is the, the mid platform is very very good for drag down empire, uh, drag down up air combos from Joker. But at the same time, I feel like these platforms are very good for Bayo. And you'll see right here, landing on the platform and getting that up B. has to figure out a way to navigate around these top platforms because if he doesn't then MROs will just kill him with the combo extension. Um, that said though, in moments like these where the platforms go away, it does become kind of like a mini FB and that works beautifully for Pokey fans. That said though, Hard commits the F smash and it lands for the kill. That was good. Throwing out projectiles, kind of just evaluating how Amorelis wants to space, and then going in that OP. <laughs> she just wants to go in. She doesn't get the opportunity because of the gun. Is that gonna kill? Brilliant TI, brilliant TI. Ooh, that's sad. Okay. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was gonna kill. Doesn't get the. Doesn't get all the hits. He gets that. Oh, unbelievable. If he gets this kill, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, no. <laughs> Double back here. Okay. Yeah, Pokefans really needs to take advantage of this R sign. If you have like 
a really good back air and a really good projectile game, then just commit to it. Uh, that's all you really need to do with the Arsene Joker. Just commit. And you have the Arsene. And if you feel like you can't do much without the Arsene, then let the opponent approach you and throw out that down beat. Good, not over committing to the edge guard, just doing the full hop in place. That's what you have to do, you have to just evaluate space. Because when you're at ledge versus Bayo, like Bayo can just plank, she can just up you past ledge, and then you kind of just have to be aware of that. And then if she up you past ledge, you should be expecting side beats. Like that one right there. Right there, he punished her perfectly. Arsene on deck. Yeah, he could definitely... I was gonna say he can definitely get something off of that, but he doesn't. Amarillo's taking him out with that back here. 2-1. Brilliant. Oh, I completely forgot he was finished sending you. This is the best of three. My apologies. Um, yeah, same stage. You know, honestly, Poke fans, the way he played last stock wasn't too bad. You know, he didn't overcommit. Uh, he kind of let Amaryllis do most of the approaching. That's what you have to do in this matchup. But as I say that, he kind of overextends. And Amaryllis just is loving every second of it with these punishes. Once again, just every time he gets our send, he's just getting hard punished for it, and that's gonna be a kill. Yeah, that's it. Uh, what it comes down to is how we make this comeback. How will he prevent Amaryllis from taking advantage of this position? Because right now, it's not looking too good for both defense. Guess the up throw. It's kind of like a little DI mix up. Like sometimes you get the follow up, sometimes you don't. Really old times. Uh, yeah, just just waiting it out. Um, this is good for Marilis, just because once our has gone, can't really do much. Ooh. That could have been a really good edge guard. You know, you know, Poke fans really need to take advantage of that downward gun. I haven't seen too much of it. If he takes advantage of that downward gun, that could really mess up Amaryllis' recovery. That could be good, because then you can just go for kills. Instead of just putting himself in this bad position where Bayo has like max rage and he's worried about dying. They have, they have so much rage. None of them are getting their combos. Nice. Ooh, okay. Thought for the fans. Respectable. Oh, don't tell me that's it. Okay, good guy. <laughs> that was a fun funny. That, that, that was nice. I like that. When you SDI out of Bayo's combos like that, you can just punish her while she's in end lag. Like if she's in fair end lag or like up air end lag, just like SDI out. Just go for your punish. And they'll most likely miss the DI. Okay, Alright. Yes, see, I like that he's being patient when it comes to these air dodges here. Because then you can just keep getting throws and just keep getting damage. That's what he needs to do. Oh, brilliant edge guards from Memorialis.
taking a stock of being that that was brilliant and the fact that he got knocked to the right side was really good because then he was stuck under stage and he just got pineapple there uh yeah just overall great job from Amaryllis just being able to navigate around a lot of these projectiles that Pokefans was throwing out and when he wasn't throwing anything out and he was depending on melee hits with his Arsene he took advantage like in this example where he's up beam side beam taking away his Arsene and just netting the kill overall good job